All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about key metrics. It's hard for me to know everything about your business, so I'm gonna make some assumptions, but these are some of the key metrics I look at when I run Facebook ads. And these are kind of my barometers to tell me if I'm going in the right direction or if I need to cut the campaign altogether. And before I dive into this, I wanna make sure you didn't skip over this in one of the earlier videos, but when I was mentioning earlier that I'm gonna make some assumptions, you really need to know these numbers so you can have a good idea of how much you should be spending per conversion, I mean, excuse me, per deal being closed, and how many clicks and uh, leads you need to make the math work for you. So I would encourage you to go ahead and come to oncare.com slash ROI to get this number because I'll, you'll have to base your key metrics off of this uh, you know, amount, all right? So diving back in over here. So these are the questions that I wanna ask myself weekly or monthly whenever you check in on your Facebook ads, okay? How many people are seeing my ad? This is one of those ones where, uh, you know, I would say with a niche like real estate investing, the more the better because having a really targeted ad and a really targeted uh, list could be a great thing if you can verify that that data is accurate, which is obviously one of the bigger pain points of this type of marketing. So you wanna see in this KPI, this key performance indicator, uh, a good amount of people, you know, if you're in a market that is say a million people plus, I want my ad to be seen by at least 10% of those people. And that's just a rule, like a rough, you know, that's not, there's no science behind that. It's just, I want to get it in front of as many people as I can. But then the question is like, how many people are interacting with the ad? Because just putting it in front of them isn't enough. You want people to, you know, comment on it, click on it, watch the video. And you can ask people to do specific actions. You can say, hey, uh, you know, leave me a comment below if you if you think of what I'm saying makes sense or whatever, right? Like encourage that because as I mentioned before, Facebook is going more towards engagement and this pay to play type business model. So you want to interact with, you want your uh, leads to interact with your ads. And then you wanna know who's interacting with your ads, right? So is it males uh, in the 55 and older range? Is it females 34 and under? Um, you know, do they interact at six o'clock at night from their mobile phones? These are some of the kind of metrics you want to start paying attention to. And then how much is it costing you to get what you need from Facebook? In this case, we're probably talking leads, right? So how much does it cost for you to get a lead from Facebook? Is it $50? Is it $150? $300? And then how many of those leads do you need from Facebook? because every traffic source is different. SEO, you might need five SEO leads to turn into a deal, whereas Facebook, you might need 25. So you wanna start keeping track of those as key performance indicators. So every week say, okay, I got three this week, seven this week, and track how many of those turn into deals. And that'll give you a good idea of how much more you can spend in Facebook, or if you need to really optimize so you can get more leads for the same amount of money. And then I always wanna know, what can I test next? So when you're sitting down to do this weekly, jot a note on or send it to your you know your Facebook guy or whoever's running these for you and say, hey, I'm seeing this in my data, test this next, All right? So then more specifically, in Facebook itself, um, answering some of these questions, you wanna look at reach, and reach is going to say how many people potentially you know were given your ad, and this is not impressions. So impressions can be uh, they see it in the newsfeed, they see it in the sidebar, they see it on Instagram. You know, that might be three impressions for one person. So we're just looking at how many people we get in front of, not so much how many impressions we get. Uh, but you want to keep an eye on frequency. And so frequency is how often they see the ad. And that'll sh that'll give you an idea if like you're, um, it's called ad fatigue. If you're showing it a lot to the same people, you might need to expand who is seeing your ad. And if you know, you're showing it four or five times, people are probably just kind of ignoring it just subconsciously, because that's what we tend to do with ads we've seen multiple times. Click-through rate, so this is answering the engagement question before. You wanna know how many people are actually clicking on your ads. Uh, if you go back to the video before this, you can see how to get the click-through rate through your ads reporting, and reach is also reported on there. Uh, I believe frequency is, and if not, I'll hop out of here at the very end and kind of go through some of these in the ad itself. 
the campaign, the ad relevance score. So Facebook has a algorithm where they tell you how relevant your ad is to the audience you're showing it to and how they calculate this is when you get likes and shares and clicks, that's a positive. When you get people hiding your ad or just skipping over it, it's kind of viewed as a negative. It's on a scale of one to 10, uh, 10 being the best. And I would try and target anywhere for six and better on an ad relevance score. Um, this just means that Facebook is more likely to show it versus somebody who maybe has the same targeting as you with a similar budget. Facebook's gonna show more uh, relevant ads because they obviously know that that's gonna keep people engaged and on Facebook longer. So along with click-through rate, uh, I wanna know who's clicking, who's comment, who's putting comments on my ads, who's watching 50% or more of my video views, which I showed you on the last video how to get some of that data. So you wanna go ahead and make sure you're reporting on that weekly to see which of your ads and which of your ad sets are delivering the most engagement. And then of course your cost per conversion, which is shown uh, in the previous video as well. And then I kind of alluded to it at the end of the last video. So go back and watch like the last three minutes of that video. And when I'm testing things, I wanna look at like demographics and technology. So what that means is I wanna look at if there's a specific age or gender that is clicking on my ads more and opting in. And then where are they coming from? Most of the time it's gonna be mobile. So I would test uh, on the last video, I would go ahead and copy that same campaign and I would test mobile females 45 and older and maybe even look at the time that those four conversions happened and then just show it within like a two hour window on either side of it. And in that way, I'm taking all my budget and instead of spreading it out all day and showing it to a bunch of different people, I'm targeting it on people who are likely to, to opt in. Now, I say that cautiously because four uh, leads is hardly enough to justify, you know, taking your budget and cramming it into a small window. If you were to get 50 conversions, you probably can make a better judgment on that data. So just keep an eye on it, but don't go wild. You know, if you get three conversions thinking that, okay, I can only show my ad to mobile people now because uh, you're going to miss out on, on an opportunity. But if you're tied on budget or you really like getting in there and refining things, that's a great place um, to start. So these are some of the uh, metrics that I pay attention to on a weekly basis. And then, like I was saying, let's hop in and actually take a look at some of these um, in Facebook itself. So we can see, of course, the results, which is the conversion reach. So this was shown to 1,600 people, impressions we don't really care too much about. So it cost me $31 to get a lead form uh, submission from this audience spent five bucks. Uh, we can take a look here and let's get on, or let's add on some more um, data points. So we can look at our click through rate, um, people taking action. So the relevant score is turned on, and the relevant score is on the ad itself. So you'll actually have to click into here to see the relevant score. I believe it needs 500 impressions in order for it to share. I mean, to calculate the relevant score, sorry. Um, so this is a seven, which is, you know, pretty respectable. Uh, not not the worst, not the best. Click through rate's pretty good. Um, that, that's somewhat high. Uh, you know, this is per impression, so a more accurate would be to go look at the unique click through rates, which I showed you in the previous video. And then 45 people taking action. So this is, you know, this will, if you click, little tidbit here, if you click details, it'll tell you how it's calculated, right? So there's people taking action, uh, blah, blah, blah. That just shows people who engage with your business after seeing or engaging with your ads. All right, so these are some of the um, metrics that I look at. And then again, however you decide to export these and track them, you are able to go ahead and do that. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video here, I'm rambling a little bit, and then um, we will see you in the next video.